Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you guys are having a great evening. Whew, did you survive today? Triple digits here in California. Oh man, alive. When it's this kind of heat, there's only one thing that's really gonna help us out. And that's some fresh beer from Golden Road. Today, we're gonna to be doing all Golden Road, four offerings. Mm -hmm. Melon cart, mm -hmm. mango cart, pineapple cart, and this one's the Guava Diva from Golden Road. So, we got our four contenders. Let me get my beer assistant, do a blind pour so we don't know what's what. We're gonna find out which one of these four is king. I guess queen, really, of the brewery. <laughs> All right. We've got our pours, our four contenders from Golden Road. I've been wanting to try these for a while. First out of the gate, I've got to compliment them on the marketing because they based these three beers, anyways, the carts, basically on the LA street vendors that sell fruit from their carts. This one's really light. Oh man, it's beautiful. Oh, Vita. That is not at all what I expected to taste. Definitely taste the wheat aftertaste. Mm, and I am unclear of which fruit this would be. It's not immediately jumping out at me. I might think it's the guava, but that's number three. We jump to number four, a little bit darker. Very clear though. Uh, Oh, yes, that is fantastic. Mm. It's delicious, it's incredibly smooth. Hot days like this are dangerous because this just tastes like juice and it goes down so easy. Gotta kind of watch a step. I know it's only probably four, four and a half percent, but still, that can sneak up on you. This little baby, mm. it's a little bit darker than the rest but still pretty clear. It's a, it's a little bit hazy. Mm. Wow, I'm at a loss. These are all delicious. Well, here's number one. Pretty clear, actually. It's not bad looking. Not much of an aroma. Oh, boom. Okay, so finally, right away, I can tell honeydew. This is the melon, no doubt about it. Not much of an aroma, but I don't think that's really too surprising. But oh yeah, so at least we got one. <laughs> all right, so as you know, these beers are all kind of randomly stuck. Uh, melon, so I'm saying it's the melon cart is number one. All right, so now that leaves us with the other three. Now the pineapple I was expecting to be Right out of the gate, super easy to find. And I think it's this one. Nope. Oh, here it is. Pineapple, boom, okay. So we got one, two, we're down to the guava and the mango. So very similar tropical fruits. Mm, my nose is failing me. That is really sweet. It's got a little bit of tart right at the end, just a little pang mixed with the wheat flavor. Oh, it's really nice. It's incredibly smooth. You know what? I think that's the mango. That is really, it's deceiving. There's not much aroma to the beer. So that's, you know, I was thinking that my nose would be my guide in this case. It's, it's not healthy. All right, guava. Now, I gotta be honest with you guys, I am not a huge guava expert. In fact, I can't even say for sure if I've even had guava before. Yeah. Of all of them, this one 
has the best beer taste. I mean, definitely, I'm not really getting essence of fruit. I'm definitely getting a little bit of the, I guess, hops in there. I definitely smell it. All right, that's it. We're going with guava. So I think I've got my order. I'm thinking that we're going to rock out with the melon. I, I know I got that one. And I'm pretty sure on the pineapple. These two, mm, I'm pretty sure I got it. But you know what? Let's go to the replay chuck and see who's right and who's wrong. Yeah, all right. So here we go. Not too bad. I got the melon cart right away. This was the only one that really jumped out at me of, hey, you know, this is the, this is the one you want. And actually I got the mango cart too. It doesn't have the huge aroma, but it does have the mango-ish flavor. What I kind of messed up on were these two. So I had them switched. So really, pineapple cart goes here, number three. And Diva goes number two. So that's, that's the guava. So, mm. Knowing now which ones are which, um, yeah, it still doesn't really help me to be honest with you. These two are so similar. They're both fantastic. Actually, all four of these are great. They're very light. They're refreshing. It's perfect for the hot summer day or evening. My suggestions, my friends, is for you to just go, grab one of each, grab a sixer, knock yourselves out, try them for yourself, see what you think. But you know what, for me, mm, melon cart. As a beer, the melon is rocking it. So really good. Go get you some. Mmm. Guaranteed you're gonna love it. Mango corn. Nope. Sorry. Melon corn. Light. Doesn't really taste like beer. Very fruity. Very delicious. Ah. Fantastic. Well, let me know. What do you guys think? My favorite from Golden Road, definitely Wolf Among the Weeds, which is a completely different style of beer. But I'm glad I got to try these. Fantastic. Yeah, this is perfect day drinking beer because low alcohol, delicious, boom. Just make sure you're not working from home when you do your day drinking. See you guys soon. I got a little tip for you guys. Sometimes you go to the shop and uh, you're buying a beer off the shelf. It's not refrigerated, it's not cold. Here's what you do. Take a paper towel, get it damp, get it totally wet. Wrap your beer in the paper towel, then stick it in the freezer Bada bing, bada boom. It helps it cool and chill way faster. So, you know, in these hot summer days, that might be a good tip for you guys to try. Boom, baby. Look at little dude, he's selling his melons from a cart. If I didn't know better, I would say it's uh, something like. Yes, that's right. John Cougar melon cart.